confident kid to begin with, but you know, being that strong now and putting on the weight, I think he's even more important. It was good that he got to go out there and you know, his product. <laughs> you know, I, and we, in the quarterback room, we made a bet that. Uh, the over/under for the longest run of the year was at 22 and a half yards, and he runs a 28-yard touchdown on the, on the first game. So that was the laugh in the um, in the quarterback room. But yeah, yeah we're we're a dual-threat team now. We're going to run the quarterback about the majority, about 50 percent of the time. Now. Jake, the uh, appreciate it. you talked about decision making, Gino. There were times that I saw him rolling out, and, and Marshall did a good job of covering, and he decided to tuck it. And run. In the past, I want to say that he probably would have tried to force that in. Yeah, that's something that you. Uh, you know, and that has been an emphasis. You know, we, we put a lot of when you go through your progressions, then let's think wrong. That's not really a good and, and if you look at a lot of NFL teams, especially with Aaron Rodgers, you know, just you know, run seven yards and slide. That, you know, that, that puts a lot of stress stress on the defense. So, you know, we don't want him acting like he's a dual threat quarterback as much as we jo we joke around. But I think that's gonna we're gonna utilize that in the future, and that's gonna that's gonna at least have defenses acknowledge that our quarterback can at least run when he's out of the pocket. What do you tell him in terms of critiquing him in, in the game? What did you tell him as far as critiquing him you know, Saturday? Well, you know, he, he ball security still. You know, when he's scrambling with the ball, he's got it in one hand and it's everywhere. And you never know someone could catch up to him and knock that out easily. So, you know, when, when he's running the ball, he needs to take care of the ball better. And, you know, besides that, he, he can always keep getting better with managing the game. And I thought he had a good one. Everything was working. But there's going to be times when, you know, the run game's not working. There's going to be times when we can't, like they're dropping eight and we can't throw the ball. So, you know, that, that's part of it. We haven't hit adversity yet, but, you know, there will, there will be adversity. Team will see how he responds with that. He's always said he's confident in his offensive line, but the old line has given tons of praise. And how much more confident do you think he is in them after the performance they had? Oh, very confident. You know, and if if you watch the tape, the, the offensive line is pretty physical out there. And, and I think that uh, you know, just being together for an entire year, and then, you know, Josh having the experience as well. And, and everybody's familiar with each other, the continuity between them. You know, they're, they're a pretty nasty bunch of guys, which, uh, you know, the quarterbacks always like seeing that. So a lot of those plays where he ran, was that, were you guys happy with that? I mean, or were they, were they situations yes. where you... Okay. You know, he, he was looking to throw. We didn't have any design runs. Right. You know, so he, he's looking to throw. Once he went through his progression, you know, nothing was open. We just make a play. You know, and there was times where he was scrambling out of the pocket. He was looking to throw down the field. Nothing was open. He just ran, got got a first down, or got about six, seven yards and got out of it. So, you know, it, it always it always makes that instead of forcing one downfield and having an incompletion, mm -hmm. instead of second and ten, now it's second and like three. So it, it always makes the play calling a lot easier for the second play. Okay, so there was never a situation where you were like, oh, why did you do that? Or no. Okay. No, you know, he, he's he got great poise, too. You know, it, there's never in his mind where he wants to run out of the pocket quick. You know, he'll always go through his progressions, and, and if he's not comfortable with throwing it, then he's going to scramble and, and try to make a play downfield. And it sounds like, because I think you were just talking about the, the weight that he put on, that he feels a little more confident doing that. Yes, you know, and that was the thing. He, he told me after the game, he goes, I just feel a lot stronger, a lot faster out there. And you can tell what a healthy offseason's done for the kids. Right. Were you surprised to see the movie put on that safety on that one, though? I mean, that's... I called it luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we always joke about it, but no, he, he's a great athlete, you know, and, and that's nothing surprising. You know, he's a pocket quarterback, but he, when he's out of the pocket, he can make a play, you know, and uh, that, and I think that's that can get pretty dangerous, especially now defenses are going to have to acknowledge that, and, and once they start acknowledging that, that's going to open up other things down the field, so, uh, you know, that, that's good to have, you know, and now, now Paul and Ford's a different animal now. They don't have, I don't think they have that, that speed and those moves out of pocket yet. But, you know, it, it's good to have Gino and at least he can make, keep the play alive and, and at least, you know, run the ball downfield. Any idiot can look at a box score and see that he completed 90% of his passes. And yeah. put a ball in his and any idiot can do that. <laughs> but from your perspective, what did he do so well? Saturday. You know, the, a lot of the, his, his point, the way he managed the game was the, the thing I thought was most impressive because we have a lot of run pass options, you know, and, and you go out there and you got to feel, you got to have a feel for it. Sometimes he hands it off. If, if we get stuffed, he's probably going to think, I'm probably going to throw the next one, but 
you know, we had a, a time where the run was the run game was working, the pass game was working. So if you go back and watch the game, you know, he'd hand it off, hand it off, throw it, hand it off, throw it, throw it, throw it, hand it off. You know, he just managed it and he kept it inconsistent for the defense and you know and, and he was making them play as honest. And once you get teams to play as honest where they spread out the field and they don't at least eliminate one part of your offense, you can, you can we can get pretty dangerous with things. Is that where the, the big leap happened from, from the end of the regular season last year right. to where we are now? That's big because he's starting to understand it. He understands what de how defenses are trying to defend us, and you know, and and he's understanding this is what I got to do to attack it. And and the thing that I, I thought was very important was is that the communication with him and Dana on the sidelines, they, they just he just understands what Dana's thinking, about. and that that's big big. We we've had a lot of growing pains. If you remember all these interviews we had last year, you know that. The communication wasn't as clear, but now we're to the point where we're past that. And, and that's normally why we always say year two is good, because now we know the quarterback's thinking how Dana was.